hours after a judge charged a teenager with 17 counts of premeditated murder, thousands gathered to remember the lives lost. The massive crowd gathered in Parkland, Florida to honor the victims of the high school massacre. People grieved, hugged, cried, and lit candles together. One family spoke about the daughter he lost. I sent her to school yesterday. She was supposed to be safe. I, my job is to protect my children. And I sent my kid to school. Today, law enforcement released a timeline of the events surrounding the shooting. Investigators say Nicholas Cruz confessed that he used an assault rifle to kill students and faculty. As WCCO's Jennifer Merrily reports, Cruz dropped his gun and blended in with students to get out of the school. You Nicholas Jacob Cruz? Yes, ma'am. Nicholas Cruz appeared in court one day after he methodically shot and killed former classmates and educators. You're going to be held without bond. Authorities report Cruz took an Uber to school where he walked in with a black duffel bag and a backpack loaded with ammo. At 2.21 hours and 33 seconds, the suspect readied his rifle and began shooting into rooms 1215, 1216, 1214. He went back to 1216, back to 1215, and then to 1213. The sheriff says the rampage continued through several classrooms before he dropped his weapon and blended in with other students running out of the building. Cruz made a stop at Walmart, buying a drink at Subway, and later sat down at McDonald's. About 40 minutes later, an officer spotted him on foot. He looked like a typical high school student, uh, and for a quick moment, I thought, could this be the person? Is this who I need to stop? An hour and 20 minutes after the massacre began, police took the shooter into custody. President Trump addressed the nation, saying no one should be in danger in a school. It is not enough to simply take actions that make us feel like we are making a difference. We must actually make that difference. Well, Trump avoided talking about gun control. The mother of one of the victims demanded action. They shouldn't be able to, to walk into a school without any metal detectors stopping these kids from just walking into our school and, and killing our kids. The 19-year-old Cruz was expelled last year from the school for undisclosed disciplinary reasons. Tonight, his attorney called him a deeply troubled young man who fell through the cracks. She said he is fully aware of what's going on. Frank. Okay, Jen, thanks.